Good afternoon. This is Christopher Dreesen with his video audition for David Mamet's Oleana. This particular monologue is from a play by David Elliott uh, called Le Denier Repas. There was this girl sitting all by herself at the table on the other side of the room. 23, 24. Very pretty in a plain, unadorned way. Dark, sad eyes. One of the German refugees clinging to the shore, staring across the ocean at inaccessible freedom. There was a small orchestra, locals, I suppose, not very good by any standard. Keeping together and in time was about the best they could manage. I got up, I went across the room, and I asked the girl if she wanted to dance. <laughs> I'd never done anything like that before, just gone up to a total stranger and asked if they wanted to dance. No, I was always too shy. Too afraid of rejection, I guess. At first, she rejected my offer, simply shaking her head no. She probably thought I was some aging Lothario. I assured her I was a married man with a daughter all my own, not much younger than herself. And I simply wanted to dance. Just one dance. And then I'd be leaving. She hesitated staring down at her plate as if she were trying to move the food by sheer mental concentration. But finally, maybe because she was afraid I wouldn't leave, she agreed to one dance. Well, at first, we were both a bit shy and awkward. And to speak truthfully, she was not a good dancer. But after a few minutes, we managed to move across the floor with a little grace. I held her loosely so as not to frighten her. She told me she was living not far from there with her grandfather and that she was a painter. She was painting her life story and she wanted to finish up while there was still time. I mean, she was... She was 23, 24, and she was painting her life story as if her life had already reached its climax. And I wondered, if she managed to finish it, who would be there to gaze at these pictures and piece her story together? And even if they did, what would they understand? I mean, how could anyone possibly understand a, a 23 or 24 year old that knew that their life was over? I mean, not because of any sickness of the body, but be, simply because they were designated as other. Without the least bit of interest in who you are, what you are, what talents you might possess, what dreams or aspirations live in your soul. I mean, how could anyone understand that? Well, near the end of the dance, she rested her head on my shoulder and finally surrendered to the music. For a brief moment, we moved as one. This young girl and I, this, this sad young girl standing on the edge of the abyss, looking down at the end of her life. And I could feel her. I could feel her entire being melting into mine. With everything else just fading away. It was one of the most perfect moments. I have ever experienced in my 